Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing the topic of how to sort item drag drop step by step with Reacts. Sorting items in a user-friendly and intuitive way is a common requirement in modern web applications. Drag and drop functionality can enhance the user experience and make the process of reordering items more efficient. React.js is a popular JavaScript library that provides a robust and flexible platform for building user interfaces. By following the step-by-step -step instructions provided in this video, you will learn how to implement drag and drop sorting functionality in your React.js projects. I will handle the backend creating an API for retrieving all items and an API to update the item order when manipulating the client side. I will create a controller for dealing with the database. I will create a database and table lists for storing data. Here I will insert some sample items. The function receives a request object, which contains data submitted in the request. The data is retrieved using the input method on the request object, and the new order is stored in the $new order variable. The function then loops through each item in the $new order array using a for each loop, and for each item, it updates the order field of a record in the list's database table. The record to update is identified using the ID field, 
which is set to the value of the current item in the loop. The order field is updated to the current iteration index plus one. Okay server I'm done. Now I'll handle the client side. First I will have to install two more libraries Axios and Sortables. Now I will do the writing of the template. You can watch the video. The code you provided seems to be a React component that utilizes the sortable JS library to enable drag and drop functionality for a list of items. The drag area ref variable is used to reference the container element for the sortable list, while the item state variable holds an array of objects that represent each item in the list. The order state variable is used to keep track of the order in which the items are currently displayed. When a user drags and drops an item, the sortable library handles the reordering of the items and triggers a callback function. Within this callback function, the setOrder function is called to update the order of the items in the order state variable. The code you provided uses the useEffect hook to fetch data from a server endpoint when the component mounts. The getItem function is defined to make an HTTP GET request to the getItems endpoint using the Axios library. When the HTTP request is successful, the response data is set as the item state variable using the setItems function. The catch block handles any errors that may occur during the HTTP request and logs them to the console. By calling the getItem function in the useEffect hook with an empty dependency array, the function is only called once when the component mounts. This ensures that the data is fetched only once and not repeatedly. The fetch data is then stored in the item state variable and can be used to render the list of items in the component. The code you provided is a JSX expression that renders a list of items. It uses the map method to iterate over the items array and create a new array of elements based on each item. 
The index parameter is passed as the second argument to the map function and represents the index of the current element being processed. Each item is rendered as a div element with the class name item and a unique key attribute set to index. The data ID attribute is also set to the ID property of the current item object. Inside each div element, there are three child elements. An MG element that displays the image property of the current item object, a div element with the class name name that displays the name and author properties of the current item object, and a div element with the class name drag icon that displays a drag icon. The code you provided uses the use effect hook to initialize a new instance of the sortable JS library with the container element referenced by the drag area ref variable. The sortable constructor is called with the container element and an options object as arguments. The animation option is set to 350 to specify the duration of the animation when an item is moved. The onEnd option specifies a callback function that is called when a drag and drop operation is completed. Within this callback function, the toArray method is used to get the current order of the items in the sortable list. The new order array is then set as the order state variable using the setOrder function. An HTTP POST request is then made to the update order endpoint using the Axios library to update the order of the items on the server side. The new order array is sent in the request body as a JSON object. When the HTTP request is successful, the response data is logged to the console. If an error occurs during the HTTP request, it is caught and logged to the console. By passing the drag area ref variable as a dependency array to the use effect hook, the effect only runs when the drag area ref value changes. This ensures that the sortable JS library is initialized only when the drag area ref value is not null. OK, the order of items has been updated in the database when I drag drop. Thank you for watching, goodbye and see you in the next tutorials.